coming up in this video, I've got five super tasty uh, cocktail recipes using one of my favorite things, spirits, liqueurs of the moment. This is JD, Jack Daniels, Tennessee Fire. Now I have to say, I've completely fallen in love with this uh, spirit or liqueur, whatever you want to call it, for some stupid reason. I completely avoided it for ages and ages because I don't know whether it's just me or whether it's uh, the UK. I don't, I don't generally don't know, but when I see something that says fire on it, I immediately, immediately associate it with being spicy or hot. I don't immediately think, oh, cinnamon flavor, but that's what it is. This is not a chili whiskey or a, a spicy whiskey or anything like that. This is a cinnamon, uh, essentially cinnamon whiskey liqueur. And it's so delicious, absolutely love this. So easy to drink neat, it's what, 35? 35% ABV, 70 proof. Oh, it's delicious, it's so nice. It has got that sort of little bit of spice to it, but not in the fiery sense. So I don't know whether that's a US, UK sort of translation, but I, I highly recommend this. Anyway, uh, the first cocktail, let's dive into the cocktails. The first cocktail I'm gonna do for you, and I've tried this, this works, an absolute treat, is uh, a banana and cinnamon uh, old fashioned. So let's get into it. Right. Uh, this is obviously going to get stirred down in a mixing glass. So the first ingredient I want is 50 mil. And if you can hear the aeroplanes, I'm filming this on a Saturday and I'm obviously at Duxford Airfield if you're in the UK. So apologies for the old that's coming over above. So 50 mil. And I'm going to try and start doing these in ounces as well. So that is about one and three quarter ounces. Us, us English, we don't do ounces, we do milk. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, because I'm getting quite a lot of you US based now. I'm gonna try and sort of convert to ounces at the same time. So uh, 50 mil or one and three quarter ounces of JD Fire. And just to go with that, I don't need too much sweetness, but my banana is coming in the form of a banana liqueur and I'm getting close to the end of this bottle now. So I think I'm gonna swap over to Giffard afterwards. Uh, I just want 10 mil, which is, what's 10 mil? 10 mil is, oh, uh, just over, just over a quarter of an ounce. What's that? 0 0.3, 0 0.4 of an ounce? So 10 mil of that. And I just want a tiny, tiny little bit of sugar. And for this, I'm just going normal uh, sugar syrup. I'm not going brown or demerara. I'm just using normal sugar syrup. And again, I want 10 mil of this. So again, just over, just over a quarter of an ounce. And then old fashions, they obviously have bitters in them. So you could go, I'm just going standards, you could go Angostura, but I like to stay loyal to my brand. So I'm going for Ms. Betters Bitters. They're actually a Canadian brand. They're not UK, they're Canadian. Um, and I just love using these. So I'm going for about a quarter of a pipette, which should be the equivalent of about two dashes. If you want to use a bit more, be my guest. This is, bitters are very much adjust the taste. Right. Uh, so yes, this name this, this will be kind of like a banana and cinnamon old fashioned, but come on guys, I know you lawyer fans, you, you're you cracking on with these name suggestions. So just gonna put a little bit of ice in there. I'm gonna take my bar spoon and I'm just gonna sort of stir this down for about 30 seconds because we need to add a little bit of dilution to the cocktail. Right, that's been stirring for about 30 seconds. Just a few more ice cubes. Again, another sort of 30 or so. Right, my general rule of thumb is when the kind of liquid is doubled in volume, I think that is perfect for me. It'll be different for all of you, you know, just kind of the water just brings out, or the, the ice dilution just brings out all those flavors. So I'm gonna serve it up in a rocks glass. For me, that's perfect. I don't need any more sweetness. That is just there. It's not overly sweet, but it's just about there. So I'm just going to single strain. And as I always say, you know, if you're at home, just use the same ice. It's absolutely fine. But just going to strain that into my rocks glass. Use some fresh ice. If you've got big chunk of like big ice cubes, I've, my ice molds have got, I've, I've locked them away, but I need to get my big ice molds out again. Uh, I'm just gonna top this up with a few cubes of ice there. And then to garnish, I'm just going standard old fashioned garnish for this. Uh, you could do, get creative with a banana if you want, but I've got a dehydrated orange. Then, because, because I have to use them, because I have to get my little, 
my little spoon in there, I'm gonna use uh, my maraschino cherries as well. So, let's have a little cherry garnish. Get in there, there we go. Little cherry garnish in there. Oh, they are phenomenal. They are absolutely phenomenal. So, right then, what's this taste like? Oh, for me, that's one of the best ways to enjoy that. Banana and cinnamon just works so well. Right, cocktail number two. This is going to be a highball serve. So I'm going to get serve, serve it up in that. I'm going to shake this one down. I'm going to try and do this one in ounces for you. So, uh, ingredient number one. Uh, th this is kind of, this is just a lovely sort of simple serve. I thought it was maybe lacking one ingredient, but I, I do quite like this. So, first ingredient, I'm going 60 mil. Uh, which is two ounces. <laughs> See us, us English, we work in 50 mil. So uh, just one, another 10 in there, 10 mil. So it's two ounces of your JD cinnamon. All right, my next ingredient I'm going for is liquor 43. Sort of like loads of different herbs and spices in there, but the overriding flavor is uh, vanilla. So I'm using this as a vanilla liqueur. And I want, what's this in ounces? 15, where are we going? 15 mil, which is half an ounce, isn't it? Half an ounce, so 15 ml of uh, liquor 43. Then I want some lemon juice. Uh, and I just don't, I, I thought, right, let's go in ounces, let's do 30 ml for this. I think 30 ml is actually too much. Uh, so I'm just going 25 ml, which is roughly about sort of three quarters of an ounce. And honestly, that five ml does, does make a little bit more difference. So three quarters of an ounce there of lemon juice or 25 mil. And then the final ingredient, I was looking for some, some sort of like raisin or something. I, th I thought raisin or I was toying with brandy or cognac in there, but I couldn't find anything that I had. So I'm not going with that. I'm just going for uh, my mixer, which is 100% uh, pressed apple juice. So I say supermarket brands are absolutely fine. I just personally do prefer pressed apple juice. I think it's so much better. Not as sweet as uh, the, the clear stuff that's just from concentrate. So uh, again, I'm going for two ounces or 60 mil of, uh, let's go use that 10 mil there, of uh, pressed apple juice. So that is, uh, that's my cocktail. I'm just going to ice this up. And obviously I need your name suggestions for this one. So we've got apple, we've got cinnamon, we've got a bit of vanilla in there. So, ice, plenty of ice. Then a good hard shake. Give it some welly. Right, there we go. There's no sugar, no bitters in there. I'm uh, just gonna kind of, I think, I think this is perfect. Mm. The whole apple and cinnamon with that little hint of vanilla. You could add a little tiny bit of sugar if you wanted to. I just don't think it needs it. Well, you could even substitute the liquor 43 for a vanilla sugar if you wanted to. That'll work. Right. There we go. Just single strain that in there. And let's put it on. Let's just use that ice as well. I'm just going to top it up with a bit of crushed ice. There we go. Bit of crushed ice there. And then just to garnish this one, I've got one here. I'm just going to use a spent lime. I think that works quite well. I like, I like my little spent limes on top there. Right, what are we calling this one? What's it taste like? Mm. That's just an easy autumnal, definitely autumnal kind of seasonal drink. I just love that. Apple, cinnamon, little bits of vanilla. Mm, delicious. Right, point of the video where I just love to give a big shout out, big dedication to my, uh, my Patreons, my Patreons, my membership, you legends, your names will be um, scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much for my your support. It's truly humbling that you're supporting me through this. Um, my Patreon, my membership community, it's basically me all about giving back. I love to teach, I love helping. Any way I can help with drinks, I, I just love doing it. Whether that's mobile bar stuff, whether it's home bartending stuff, whether it's training for pubs and bars and your staff, 
There's loads and loads of content in there. Uh, and also, of course, it's my cocktail book as well. So you can always download the free version of my cocktail book. Links will be in the, in the description below. But the, the premium, the upgrade, updated version, uh, I roll out every single month. So it's a massive perk. So go and check out my Patreon. Right, cocktail three. I'm super uh, excited about this one. I have made this one once. It does taste phenomenal. Uh, really, really happy with it. So uh, it's going to get served up in kind of a, a coupe. If you want to go coupe glass, I just love rocking this out. And it is kind of like tiki fight, this drink. So uh, again, cocktail shaker for this one. I'm going to chill that down as well. Let's do it properly. Let's do it properly. Right, chill that down. We've got a nice cold glass. So again, sticking to the ounces. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. 25 years of working in mill. I'm trying to work in ounces. Right, here we go. Uh, so 60 mil, two ounces of... Uh, Good Jack Daniels fire, so 50. I need to get a, need to get a jigger, don't I? Need to get a, a, an ounce, a jigger in ounces. There we go. So 60 mil, two ounces of uh, Jack Daniels. You see them? Right, ingredient number two. Giffard. Giffard have told me it is Giffard and not Giffard. Only 20 years of calling it Giffard. <laughs> this is absolutely lovely. Uh, and so underutilized by me. This is their Caribbean pineapple. As you can see probably from the label, I've had it quite a while, but I just don't use it. And I don't know why, it's phenomenal. So I'm going 15 mil of this, which is half an ounce. Yes, 15 mil, Caribbean pineapple. Oh, it's just, oh, it's just luscious pineapple. It's lovely, every household needs that bowl. So pineapple there. Uh, I'm also going, um, Bit of falernum as well. So falernum's kind of pizza, ginger, almond, lime in there. It's, it's a liqueur, it's kind of weak strength. 11% is it? So 22 AB, uh, 22 proof? Yeah, 11, 11%. Uh, so again, 15 mil, half an ounce. In there. And then I'm going for exactly the same with some freshly squeezed lime juice. It's that one. And again, 15 mil. Half an ounce of lime juice. And then a final ingredient. You could even add some bitters if you wanted to. I'm not going to for this. Um, you could play about and have some bitters, but I'm just going for some sugar syrup. Now, half an ounce is just a bit too much. So I'm going 10 mil, which is just over a quarter of an ounce. <laughs> it's like what, 0.35 of an ounce or something? Right, there we go, 10 mil of uh, just sugar syrup. And I just think that brings the flavors. You don't need too much more than that because that's quite sweet. The pineapple, and then you've got the falernum and the lime sort of dialing it back down. And people sort of say to me, falernum is a kind of a sweet liqueur. I don't think it is. When, when you're comparing it to sugar syrups and purees, no, it's, it's not. For me, personally, I don't see it as a sweet liqueur, but hey ho, if you do, you do. That's cool. Right. Uh, I definitely need uh, your name suggestions for this one. It's kind of like a cinnamon tiki pineapple. I'm just going to shake that down. I'm, I'm going to shake it down actually with crushed ice. I just want to add a little bit of dilution. So a little bit of crushed ice. There we go. That's better. Right. Hard, fast, welly. Proper welly. There. Right. <laughs> oh, right. That's nicely chilled. I am going to double strain this. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Perfect all. And then garnish for this. It's obvious, wasn't it? It's obvious. A little bit of a pineapple chunk. Right. Merry, merry tiki Christmas. Oh, <laughs> I normally do the ratings at the end of the video. See which is my favorite. Nothing's gonna beat this. I don't care. That is quite possibly, bold statement, Barman. Quite possibly my one of my favourite drinks of all time. That mm. oh. oh, stay tuned for Mummy Barman's. Keep a watch of this cocktail three. Watch where she puts cocktail three. Cocktail four. Uh, going for a little highball, another highball serve. That's I'm 
I kind of like those three little highball serves. They're really quite nice little stems. Highball, really like that. So, um, this one again, I can try and convert to ounces. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there. My mission by Christmas is to be fluent in ounces. Right, uh, 60 mil, two ounces of your JD uh, Tennessee Fire. So 50, uh, 60, two ounces. Right, now I need some passion fruit puree. My passion fruit puree is um, gone missing. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There it is. Uh, it's sugar based. So I'm just gonna, that's gonna be a touch of my sugar as well. Th the slightly thicker syrups, uh, if you like, but you could use fresh passion fruit if you wanted to, and just add a bit more sugar. Not a problem. So I'm going 25 mil, is that right? 25 mil, which is, which is three quarters of an ounce. There we go. And for that, lovely jubbly. So it's got my my uh, my passion fruit in there. Right then, I need some freshly squeezed uh, lemon juice, uh, and that's the same twenty five mil, three quarters of an ounce ish, give or take. Now I want some honey syrup. Uh, honey syrup, I just use, I use honey syrup. Um, if you're gonna use normal honey, just add a bit of water to it, boiling water, just to make it more runny. Proper runny honey, that's what you want. Even runnier honey. Uh, and I just want 15 mil, which is half an ounce. See, I can do that. 15 mil. Uh, two more ingredients coming. One is after the old shaky shaky. Uh, but for now, I just want some orange bitters. Uh, and obviously, that's not the brand. Ah, oh, there it is. Obviously, you could use uh, Angostura orange bitters, but as I like to be loyal, I am going to my Ms. Betters bitters, my Canadian friends, uh, and that's their orange tree bitters, and I just love these. So, just going for a quarter of a pipette again, which should be two ounces of orange bitters. Lovely jubbly. Right, shaking that down. What are we calling this one? Name suggestions, pretty please. Plenty of ice. There we go. And then some good, hard, fast welly because we've got a lot of passion fruit in there we need to blend in. So welly. Right, when that, when you're happy, when it's nice and chilled, when it smells so good. Uh, final ingredient, I don't need any more flavors but I just want to lengthen it. So I'm adding uh, two ounces, 60 mil of soda water. All right, let's just wash a bit of bit of the rest of the passion fruit out. There we go, so there's one ounce. And it's just, oh no, see that's confused me, isn't it? That's confused me. There we go, let's just do that one. Perfect, so 60 mil, two ounces of soda water. Right, uh, I'm just gonna single strain that into there. Jubbly. And then just finish it off with that ice if you want. Overflow it, because we like a bit of spillage. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Bold move, Barman. Oh. Mummy Barman might prefer this one. Garnish with half a passion fruit. Mmm. Oh. Oh, cinnamon. Oh, best. My favorite video of the year. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. Passion fruit, honey, cinnamon. Oh, oh tough call, tough call. One more to come. Right, the final cocktail, and this is the title decider. Oh, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I've, I think I've got it edged, but anyway, this one is super delicious as well. Uh, so, gonna get shaking it down again. Uh, this one's easy to do in ounces. This is so, uh, 60 mil, two ounces. Look, if you're watching this in the UK, uh, just bring it down. When I say two ounces, just think uh, 50 mil, double. Just bring all the ratios down to 50 mil and 25 mil, all right? It, it, it's easy to work that way. It's, but when your head is in the whole 25 mils, it's a lot harder to sort of work it out. Well, actually, that's like just in between three quarters of an ounce. Anyway, 60 mil of... Uh, your JD Fire, 
So we've got 50 and 10, so 60 mil there. So I've got two ounces of that, and then the next few ingredients are half ounces. So first of all, I'm going for uh, cherry puree. I did say a couple of videos ago, uh, you can use that and feel free to use that. The only problem with using that is you get to the point where you kind of run out of juice. <laughs> so I am uh, keeping that. I'm just going to use my cherry puree. So uh, 15 mil, half an ounce of cherry puree. But that maraschino, that maraschino stuff will do exactly the same sort of job. Use, use the syrup out of there, not a problem. Right, 15 mil of cherry puree, half an ounce. Cherry and cinnamon, oh yeah. Right, uh, and then half an ounce of, where's it gone, Fortunella, which is my very, very lovely uh, orange liqueur. Think uh, equivalents would be Grand Marnier, okay? Not Cointreau or anything like that, Grand Marnier or orange Curacao, but a proper one, Ferrand or something like that, Pierre Ferrand. Right, uh, 15 ml, half an ounce of Fortunella. Fortunella, sorry, is a kumquat liqueur, which I love baby oranges. Super, uh, what's the word? Uh, vibrant in flavour. Amazing. And then uh, I'm going for some lime juice again and 15 ml, which is half an ounce. There we go. And then the final ingredient is coming after the shaky shaky. So uh, I'm just going to ice this up. And again, as you've got the theme, I want your names, please. Comment below, name suggestions. Plenty of ice. There we go, right. Hard, fast, shake, proper welly, blend all the cherry in. When that is nice and cold, nice and chilled. Oh, smelling good. Uh, the final ingredient, I'm going for some ginger ale. And I think this is my very last bottle of Fever Tree, and then we will be on to uh, the cans are kind of dry that I bought uh, a few months ago because I thought I'd run out of that. But I found some, didn't I? I found some when I refurbed all this. So, I uh, just again want two ounces, which is uh, 60 mil. There we go. And I'll just pour it into, into the old shaker so it doesn't, you don't have to stir it once it's in the glass. There we go. Right, let's leave that there. So, just going to strain this in. Chaply. And then, yeah, why not? Why not? We're at home. If you're in a pub or bar, fresh ice, but we're at home. And then that leaves me enough room to top it up with crushed ice. And then what I love doing when I've got red drinks is a really vibrant sprig of mint. I've got two or three there. Which one? Oh, that one, that one's perfect. There we go. Just to wake the aromas. And amazing, right. Oh, that is really good as well. Right then, winners, winners. My order. Oh, let's do these and how I made them. Right, five, four, uh, three. That's right, isn't it? That's right, I think. Two, one. Right. Right, then. My order. Super, super easy to do. Don't even need to try them again. One, two, three, four, five. Easy as. Oh, this That is very good, but this wins. Uh, Moby Barman's, Barman's scores will be at the bottom of the screen, but that. Oh. Get involved in that. That is amazing. Love it. 